Okay. I have things that I'm going to share tomorrow. But I just need to express how much gratitude and like full my heart feels in seeing right now. I'm just looking at my computer, the Portland Thorns fans rally. I feel so seen right now and supported. This is something that I feel like has been the deepest shit that I've ever gone through and also my best friends having witnessed it myself and it's been literally five years of deconditioning this shit and to see people supporting I can't explain how just grateful I am to be from Portland to represent Portland and to know that people see beyond the bullshit and I'm so here for it. I'm so fucking here for it. Let's go! This week has been one of the most emotional weeks of my life. Actually, the past few months have been. And I'm realizing how much it is because of this article that I knew was going to be coming out with one of two of my best friends. And the response is incredibly inspiring and gives me hope. And it also is deeply devastating because the fact that people feel so emotionally connected to it shows how pervasive this male manipulative energy is. And it's just disgusting. And I've really been in a place of trying to sit with how I'm best like suited to play my part in it because initially when the article came out, yeah. <laughs> I experienced so much rage and I saw people responding and I was like, fuck yes, let's go. Women who are rageful together is incredibly powerful. But I noticed that I wanted to respond and be like, okay, what am I gonna say to like be a part of this? When really I have so much of my own wounds and trauma when it comes to male manipulative energy with coaches in the NWSL, um, as well as relationships and men outside of it that I needed to step away and do my own processing. And underneath that rage was this deep sorrow for the fact that I've never been supported and protected by men in my life. And that's some fucked up shit. But the more that I have sat with myself over the past few years and learned how to really like process emotions that I've been harboring for a very long time, the more I've uncovered for me situations where men have been manipulative of me and I wasn't able or didn't have the tools to be able to fully stand up for myself. And so for me personally, although like I'm in full support of people releasing their rage and standing up, it's the dopest thing ever. And it's how change happens. I just want to offer my perspective or just kind of what I've been doing and that I guess more so that it's time to take our power back as women and to not put our power in the hands of authority figures or coaches or GMs and to me that looks like me feeling grieving deeply all the times in which I wasn't validated or um, my voice wasn't heard and feeling that so that I can really step into my power and see that I deserve to be treated well and I literally will not tolerate anything less than that. And it's such a hard place to be in because 
when I was playing, I've experienced playing, being the player who was the star player who started all the time and soccer was my entire life. I was willing to do anything. And when you're in that place and you're in good merit and you're playing, you're not really, you, you can tend to kind of turn a blind eye to the stuff that's going on because you just want to play so bad. This is my lifelong dream. And then on the other hand, I've been the role of being a practice player where I have felt like I was treated differently and that my voice didn't really matter. So what's the point of me speaking up? And it, it turns into this place where like no one really speaks up or does anything. And it took me stepping away from the game for years and really doing my own internal processing to see how truly fucked up it is the way that women in the league are treated and how it's not players faults at all it is a power dynamic and when we really start to like take our personal power back and look inward i believe that creates massive ripples because I now know I will not tolerate anything less than being treated like a fucking queen. I mean, test me and see, but, um, yeah, it's just been really heavy. And I just wanted to share in case anyone is feeling, um, like they want to say something, but they're not really sure what to say. There's no right way to go about supporting this. And if you are feeling deeply affected by it, there's a reason. And when we go in within and allow ourselves to feel everything that's coming up from it, it allows us to take our power back from the fuckers who didn't treat us the way that we is our birthright to be treated. I also am just so, I get goosebumps when I see the spread that of this article, that this article has made already and that my friends, their fucking strong ass selves were so brave to put that out there. Um, I'm just really proud of them. But it's been a fucking heavy time. I'm hopeful though, I'm hopeful.